Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perpetual Joseph and if you're joining me for the first time, you're definitely welcome. Please make sure to like, subscribe and share this video. Guys, please do this for me. <laughs> So yeah, today guys, I'm going to be doing, let me not call it a viral trend, but I saw it on two YouTubers page. So I decided, why not? Perhaps, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, but like, why not? Like, the videos were really nice. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a following a Nikki Tutorials video transformation. If you're a very good beauty YouTuber that watches a lot of beauty videos, I'm very sure you know who Nikki Tutorials is. So I was caught between that choosing between Nikki Tutorials or James Charles. And then I decided to go with Nikki Tutorials and that's because I really, really like her eye work. I really like James Charles' own too, but you know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I chose her, but yes guys, today I am going to be following her makeup tutorial and I decided to choose one of her tutorials that had a lot of face work as well as eye work. So, if you are interested in seeing how I turn out in this video, please keep on watching. Don't forget to thumbs up once again. So, let's get into the video. I'm going to be showing her own video down on the screen here while we're going to be watching and I'm going to be following exactly what she's doing, guys. So, I just really hope I have some of the products she used or I have her because of the products she used. So, let's get into the video, guys. Crime is a crime. I am going in with this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. It prepares the skin. Guys, and she's going in with setting spray for <laughs> not she said fixing spray, so it's like a primer. So I don't have to go with that. I just have like regular setting spray, but I really don't want to use things like I don't know if that one is meant to prime. I'm just going to be using regular points. Today's for video my is going to show you how to look fire without busting the bank. Just this step alone makes you feel bougie AF. Okay. For foundation, I am using this right here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. So guys, the foundation she's doing in L'Oreal 24 hours. I checked my foundation and one of thank God I have one that wrote 24 hours stay, which is Revlon. I'm going to be using Revlon Color Stay in color. Color 375. So that's I'm using Revlon in color 375. Sorry about this. My Revlon got broken and I just kept it since. <gasps> so let's see the use now. Sponge. And I'm just gonna start tapping it in up and down movements. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video for a special giveaway where I'll be giving away a little bit of money in these rough times. Look how flawless that is. Look how good. You wanna make sure that you blend the foundation all the way to every little corner that is visible on your face. So if you have your hairline, you kind of want to smudge it into the hairline a little bit so it's traceless. You never want it to look like you're wearing a mask. <laughs> oh my kidding, my foundation always looks like a mask. <laughs> Forehead, or in my case, Head. What I do with the forehead is I focus most of the product like on the center and then I just kind of bring it up. Oh boy. Yes! So guys, honestly, this is like the first time I'm ever trying to like go in with the foundation as the first thing for my makeup. So this is really, really strange to me, but like, let's follow it and see what happens. Now it's time for concealer and I have two options. So it's up to you. Maybe you have one of these laying around. I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Really like that one, but this is a newer one. I've been loving this one too. So guys, for concealer, she's using e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. Right here, one of the strongest concealers I have is the New Bam Beauty Concealer. I'm going to be using it in shade 044. So, let's get applying. Whoa. Oh. So guys, now I'm done blending my concealer. Oh my god, I look so white. So, ah. But then, like, let's see what her next step is gonna be. I just hope it's something I'm used to. Alright, in a little bit, I'm gonna bake my under eyes and set my entire face using the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 by Maybelline. Okay guys, so she goes <laughs> right to like setting her face, so I don't know, she's not using setting powder, she's like using a loose powder. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to be using this loose in my face definer from Farigold Cosmetics. I'm going to be using this side of 
the lighter shade as a loose powder kind of stuff and then she used like um yeah i think she used the same not the same sponge but like a sponge like stuff so i'm going to be using a beauty blender to set my own eyes So guys, I'm done setting my face, my under eye, I don't know, it's looking kind of, I don't know, it's coming together. So let's see what her next step is going to be off camera for a little bit and do my brows. Um, I did a brow tutorial not too long ago. Okay, okay so her next step guys is brows and oh, thank God at least finally, like I've been asking when am I going to do my brows, I'm not used to this. So like the next step is brows. So she's going off camera, I'm going to go off camera too. I'm going to do my brows and then we're going to come back. I have a brow tutorial on my channel as well. You can check it out and it's with cheap products. Even though I'm still going to do a very bougie makeup eyebrow look. And so guys, for my brows, I'm going to be using this pencil, this pencil, two, two side pencil, eye pencil from the Lossa Cosmetics alongside my Hate Hagar and Esther gel liner. So she is using pencil liner from Fit Me and she's using, I told you guys if you checked out my last video that Anastasia Badley Hills has one of the best um, best gel liner. So, you know, here we're, <laughs> we're having this one. So, we're just going to make use of it. So, guys, now my brows are done. I saw a hair. So, you're seeing the viewfinder. So, we're going to go on to the next step. Guys, honestly, you need to stick and watch the end of this video. I have some pros and cons. I want to tell you about her steps of doing makeup. Like, it's scary, but then, like, please watch. Like, so many things so let's go in guys M and more sparkle this right here is the la girl pro artistry eyeshadow palette in the color i'm going into eyeshadow and for eyeshadow she's using any girl i do not have any girl here but i do have my beauty glaze you know i always like this palette because it's cheap so cheap and then it has a lot of colors so i'm able to manipulate a lot of looks when i want to do them so yeah i'm going to be using my beauty glaze in that basically is coming little, but this is the palette I'm going to be using. I've reviewed on this channel too. <laughs> you see, I was just about to use primer, and then I realized she used concealer because I always use concealer. Like I actually always use concealer because concealer does a very great job for me. Like most of my cut crease you see on Instagram or somewhere like is it concealer guys is gonna last. And a nice and affordable trick for that is just picking up your concealer. And using that as a base. Once your eyelid is primed, it is time for the first shadow. Here. And the so first one I want to go using. in with feels like this shade right here. All right, I'm picking up that shade and I'm stamping it into the crease, and we're going all the way in. So from outer to inner corner. We are defining that crease. And I'm just stamping that color onto that concealer base because that way the pigment is really going to adhere to the sticky concealer, almost acting like a magnet. And with that same brush, whatever is left on the brush, I start diffusing the harsh edge by making soft circular motions like this. Then on a more fluffy brush, you just want to fluff that color into the front of the brow. This is gonna give you that beautiful sculpted look at the nose region. Guys, <laughs> honestly, in my entire life, I have never tried to carry eyeshadow as high as this. Like, it is so high, it's literally, I literally didn't want to make this front as thick as she made her front. If not, I wonder how I would like right now. I've never tried this. So guys, let's get into her next step and see what she uses for base eyeshadow region. On the lid, I don't know why, but this color is speaking to me. So I want to for her base color, she used something close to the mixture of these two colors. It's kind of like greenish, it's kind of like ashish, but it's a shimmer color. So I'm going to be using those two colors. I probably would mix them. So I'm going to be using them for my base eyeshadow. Because you want to keep very close to the lash line clear for dark smokiness. 
Oh my God, LA girl said, hi, feeling set during quarantine season? Here, let's cheer you up. There's a little bit of fallout on the face, so we're just gonna get rid of that, but ooh, yes. Okay, that right there, that what's happening on the lid right now, ooh, that was exactly what I was looking I'm for. I'm done applying the base eyeshadow. She applied this in like a crisp-like area, in like a crisp-like motion, so that's what I just did. So I'll go ahead and check out her next step. So now it is time to smoke out the lash line. Cause one of the key features of soft glam is a smoky lash line. So I'm going in with this chocolatey brown here. I actually have this really, really dark face defining here. So I'm going to be using it to smoke. And of course we're also gonna smoke that out into that outer portion here. Smoke it. Okay, see what's happening? A very ultra soft glam moment. Woo! So when I think of soft glam makeup, you wanna think of sculpted smokiness in the crease, on the front of the brow, and the lash line. The lid can be pretty much whatever you want it to be. So today I opted for this like silvery pewtery color to go with the vibes. Um, that's about it. And then for the lower lash line, you wanna smoke, smoke, smoke it out. So that is what I'm doing. And I'm not in any shape or form or any way trying to tell you that this is soft. And then I smoke it out in the inner corners and also the outer, like, uh, like I put in a liner, but not really a liner because you get to smoke it out. So let's see what her next step is gonna be. For a lower lash line, she's also using her concealer. I have never, <laughs> I've never tried to see concealer before. And considering the fact that I've already powdered that place, I feel so somehow. But then, yeah, she's using concealer there, so I'm quickly going to use my concealer thing for the lower lash line again to make the shadow stick i'm applying a bit of that concealer and taking that same brown as i used at the top and i'm gonna just start placing it very closely to the lash line and start getting smoky up in here now even though i'm loving the pigmentation of this palette if you have this at home and you okay so she goes in with the same color she used for the lid to highlight her inner corner. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I want to try it for recreating this look. Just make sure that, just know, be aware that there's fallout. Oh, oh hi. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do the other eye off camera, pop a lash on. I'll be right back for more. Like, I went off camera, I did my lashes, and yeah, I'm back. You can see that's what she did too. So let's see what's the next step. Like, I, I can't wait to get to the end to tell you guys some things about this makeup, but then let's see what's the next step. Time for bronzer. I am using the Maybelline City Bronzer in 100. I've been using this very frequently lately and it's so good. So she's using Maybelline for bronzer. I'm going to be using this, my Sleek, Sleek Beauty bronzer here to bronze my face. I'm going to be using my small brush. So I've been waiting for, so obviously we didn't have to do a liquid bronzer for her makeup. We don't have to do a liquid bronzer. So let's see. So I take the bronzer, I start from way up here, and then in circular motions, I bring it forward, and my face shape benefits from pulling the bronzer down here because my natural shape goes like this. So I just kind of enhance that, but please look at your face and the way your sort of contours naturally fall. Just follow along. To contour the nose and give yourself that perfect soft glam structured nose, just take my bronzer and bronze my entire nose. So touching the okay, top of my so nose, just kind of brushing the bronzer on all the way. I just, you know, just <laughs> Okay, I just like bronze everywhere. So, you know, I've already applied this here, you know, so, yeah, basically. So then she just, you know, puts it all over the nose. I've never seen that in my entire life. Then, guys, she carried, like, she's using her face powder, which at this stage, I think I'm going to use my Shasha Buttercup setting powder. I think this is the final stage of setting she's doing. So, this is it here. I'm going to use it to do exactly what she's doing. So she's using it as a way to, I guess, move the nose to. Then take your face powder and snatch the sides. Do a little bit on the top of the bridge. Look at that, that is a carved nose. Now I take a big face brush and brush away the face powder lightly and you're left with a softly structured contoured 
nose. For a blush, I'm gonna take one of my all-time favorites. This one is by Flower Beauty. This is a Flower Pops powder blush, and this one is in the color Peach Primrose. And we're just gonna blush from the side, pulling in, but keeping it mostly on the side of the face to pull up. Like, I think I'm going to do yes. a bit on the nose. And, yeah, I'm a dark skin girl, so I don't expect that, it to be like as that. Okay, one of the most as beaming so affordable I'm highlights in, in my I collection is by Kiss. This is, this is a 3D beauty. glow highlighter in the color Icy Glaze. Oh, honey, you only need a tiny bit of this. Because, oof. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the essential key parts of a soft glam look is a nude overlying lip. So if you're against it, do your thing, do your own thing with your lips. I'm just gonna create my own. I am gonna line and fill in my lips using this so Maybelline Super Stay line. Ink Crayon in the color Lead the Way. And popping my favorite new gloss on top, also by Maybelline, this is the Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tease. This is a staple. If you see me wearing a glossy nude lip, this is the gloss. And to so seal the spray. deal and set everything, so I'm going in with this setting spray by Catrice. And this one is the HD Active Performance Free Zinc Spray. Guys, guess what? We are done with the makeup. And yeah, this is how it came out. This is how it came out. This is how it came out. So this is what in Kitsura's makeup looks like on a black girl. I don't really like the makeup. I I don't know. Guys, we didn't get to put any powder. Really, we didn't get to put any powder on our faces. Like all these places will be left bare with just your foundation. Like I'm just saying things that were like red for me the routine. There was no liner. I'm not just like not using liner here, but then like the the smoke thing, eyeshadow smokiness we did was really great because I is, is bringing out that illusion of like liner. And then for the new nose contour, that has to be like the weirdest nose contour I've done in my entire life. Like, you know, the regular, oh, you put a light concealer, you put dark concealers, you blend them out, you put dark bronzers and all that. That was not the regular way she did it. Like, it was just put your setting powder, use it to like close in your nose. Which, you know, I don't know, my nose looks kind of like snatched too. So it's okay too. And then like, um, I don't know, we didn't get to put like any powder, so we we'll notice that all of these places will be left like without powder, just like the foundation you put on. What again, guys, like one pro I know with this whole makeup is that I realized because when I was applying my foundation, I really didn't get to like um, skip not applying on my brows. I did it exactly as she did it, and then you know, you apply glue to your brows and all that. So I realized that when I was drawing my brows, guys, like it feels like I put brow gel, but I didn't put any single brow gel. Like this is just the, the just brow, so it can be from the brow equipment because it's not like I use cheap brow things, so like maybe they're just doing their work, or maybe it's just the technique that is different. And so one other thing with the makeup is like, you could see like her eyeshadow, her um, transition eyeshadow came like up to her brows. Like I kept really struggling to take it up to my brows, but like my mind just couldn't. Like, I don't, like, it's really, really high for me right now. So I wonder how it would be if I had done it exactly like hers. So, yes guys, this is a tutorial's makeup look. Mm. Take it and yeah guys like i changed my background today because i was feeling like oh i even had a better background so tell me what you think and guys please subscribe to my channel like subscribe to my channel guys i love you all and you know see you all in my very next video hey so guys bye